So today I'm going to see one of my clients who actually is a good friend who used to live in my basement for a few probably year or so and then he moved to Guelph and now he moved back to Windsor and now he purchased his first home has a duplex. He's living in one unit and renting out the other unit. So in this video we're going to find out why he moved back to Windsor and why he chose to buy a duplex and what were the challenges because you know he told me like so many challenges he came across as a first time buyer coming up with the down payment. So all those stories stay tuned especially if you never bought a home out with a lot of nuggets and of course i'll do the home tour as well so stay tuned okay so here i am this is the property that i mentioned so it's a up and down duplex it's kind of a basement unit and upper unit and you can see where i parked my car that's a parking for one unit and there's another car that's a parking for another unit so he's living upstairs and he's renting out the downstairs so let's go find out all the details about this property and about his story and it has a pretty good size backyard too. You can see like unit one, unit two, there is an entrance for the unit one from here, but for now they closed it because they have done some major waterproofing. So we'll find out about that waterproofing too. And before we get into the house, let me show you the backyard. It got a pretty good size backyard and a nice uh, storage shed in the back. Pretty good size house actually. It's actually three bedroom unit upstairs and three bedroom unit downstairs. So pretty huge units as well. We'll find out the price and all in a second. So Aditya, you've been talking about financial freedom on social media, but why don't you do in-person meetups? That's a question I got many times. So finally, I'm doing an in-person meetup for newbies, savvy, anyone. Click the link in the description for all the details for the date and the venue. Come meet local investors and local trades and learn about Windsor Market. Cannot wait to see you. See you soon. Okay, let's go inside. Unit 1, Unit 2. They got the two mailboxes, two little units. Hello buddy, how are you? Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Good to see you. So we are here to check out your home. Sure. And also find out, you know, what's the story all behind moving back from Guelph to Windsor and also buying this type of house. Okay, so the one that you entered, right? Mm -hmm. This one is actually the kitchen entrance okay. because that door is for the, the unit yep. under, under, you know, under the lower room. unit. Yes, this is called <laughs> lower unit. Yeah. <laughs> and the reason we're entering through this is because to make sure everything is safe, we just finished outdoor exterior waterproofing. So exterior waterproofing. Yep. Okay, we're going to talk about that. Yep. Uh, so before you continue on the tour, mm -hmm. why did you do the waterproofing? So the lower unit is, you know, should always be safe, and people who are going to live in it should be safe. That's the yeah. number one priority. Especially from right? water. Yes, no especially from water, storms. You know, you've been hearing about East Coast storms and stuff. So <laughs> not much of storms here, but you know, we don't want to take chances, right? But yeah, especially because it's a not too newer home. It's a you know, little bit older home, yeah. um, probably like 50 years old mm -hmm. and had a water seepage. So that was a challenge when we bought the property, right? Like, mm -hmm. you know, when the market was already slow, but hear this story because of that water, issue yep. how much discount did we get 25000 we got a 25000 discount and how much was the cost 25000 25000 so, but that being said actually the price we got is much lower than what it actually is worth yes. because of all the other exterior factors the exterior coming into issue, play yeah so that's one key like if there is any issues that in the property that you're looking to buy don't be panic get some quotes i think that's what we did right oh yeah even before we, you know, we started off, we said, hey, let's get some quotes. Let's make sure everything is taxed in. Ensure that, you know, we get three to four different quotes. Whichever is the right one, whoever does it right is yep. whom we're going to go for. Because so, anything we do for 20, 25,000, long term is what we need to look at. So yep. 40 years, next 40 years, this is going to be proved. Yep. They gave me 10 year warranty. 10 year warranty. Tell me this. Did you pay that 25,000 from your pocket or you get a loan? I actually paid it from my pocket what but was it coming from your savings or line of credit it came from my savings, savings okay because line of credit you might end up paying interest right yeah why okay so, so you didn't want to you saved up yes okay so let's continue with the tour. okay perfect so the deck is uh, out there under the construction yes, until yeah. spring we can't we can't put the deck so the entrance is the kitchen dining area to the left is your so this is the cool part dryer. like every unit have their own washer yes. and dryer now the thing is this this is a three bed one bath unit mm -hmm. one year down the lane or one and a half year down the lane i am going to put a at least a 
top bath here. Yeah, because, because you have enough space. All here. the plumbing work, everything is done here, right? That's fantastic. So all I have to do is put a half bath. Yeah. It becomes one and a half bath, right? And this literally like you can even have the washer and dryer within the washroom. You give it to students, somebody can put a bed here and then sleep. <laughs> but right? not, that not, might not I, be the legal good thing. Good one, yeah, but you know. <laughs> So, so this is the entrance actually. So this is what happens when you have a... I can yes. see my future here. Yes. <laughs> yes, this is just the beginning. <laughs> yep. So, and it's pretty good size actually. Like the kitchen is pretty good size with the dining and living oh, yeah. is pretty good size. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, so there are bedroom three one. rooms here. Okay, right? So we have converted into multiple... So when you have extra bedrooms, what happens is you can, I can make it a multi-purpose unit, right? Yeah, so, so this one you're using it as storage. Yes, yeah, storage and you know... The oh, bar, prayer room, prayer room. Prayer sorry, rooms yes. and if my mom comes, she'll have a bed here of her own. Yeah. Have our own closet space here. So pretty good size. Yep. Yep. And... And have you done any renovations in this house? Zero. Inside, I, nothing. Except my own stuff, nothing else. That's right? good. So coming here, this is my office space. So pretty good size as well. If you see the view from the back here is yeah. pretty good. As a matter of fact, saw. I might ask the city what I can do with this. Oh, maybe a ADU. ADU there. Ah, so, that's, that's a smart thing. Right? Now so, he's thinking like an investor. Of course, we'll give you guys the numbers on the purchase price and the rents in at the end. So yep. stay tuned. Yep. So this side, this is the our personal bedroom. bedroom. Honestly, the bedroom sizes are pretty good Huge. like this. Huge bedroom, have our own closet space and this is our bathroom with all the so amenities. it's like pretty standard, you haven't done any improvements as of now. No. There is a lot of value to add as well in down the road. Yep. For, but for now it's like move in ready pretty much. Yes. That's fantastic. Okay, so can we see the basement and then we can oh, yeah. talk the numbers? Absolutely. So once... So this is the entrance for the basement unit. Yep, right? that's the entrance that we used to come in. Yep. Okay, here we go. Now, before we speak about this unit, this is, we have the occupancy permit for this. The mm -hmm. end, one of the best part about this is it has its own meter, it has its own gas line. Separate it, hydro everything. and yeah. Everything separate, right? So it's, it's not an illegal unit, it's a legal unit. With City of Windsor City occupancy yes. and we could we were able to get unit one and unit two specified to it. Yeah. And so that's one thing key, right? Like whenever who is whoever looking to buy a home, especially house hack, having the second unit has to be legal so that you never get into issues from the city. Absolutely. And and moreover, it's life, right? Yeah. Person living in as a living person, right? Yeah. So it should always be safe here. So, so you got the pretty big windows. Actually, you... the lower unit looks newer than the upper one. <laughs> that's if you true. Go. I was just about to say. Yeah. With the so lighting. brand new There is boot space here. Yep. And brand new kitchen as well. Yep. There's with as a matter so, of But you haven't done any renovations, zero. right? You bought it as a turnkey. I've, I bought it the turnkey. water waterproofing outside. Yes. That's yes. fantastic. And you got the separate hydro meters. Separate hydro, separate gas. Separate gas. So Everything. I think uh, you even have a separate furnaces. Yes. Have uh, it has its own furnace. Let me switch on the lights for you there. Yep. So here you go. You got the separate have our separate own hot water tank. Have our own washer dryer. And they here. have their own laundry. That's a key. Yes, because, because a lot you don't of want to be sharing, right? Exactly, exactly. Right. So okay. And more importantly, you have a sump pump as well, so that you know whenever water comes due to and storms, backflow valve. Yep, the water kicks out. That's fantastic. So you're you're making it. It's almost like a brand new house because you're making the waterproofing from outside. And also very few houses. So that's fantastic. Right. And also three bedrooms. Yep. It has its own three bedrooms. So this is one bedroom. Okay. So bedroom one. Bedroom one has its own closet space. Pretty good size actually. Beautiful size. And, and pretty good windows too. Yep. That is bedroom two. So every bedroom got their own egress windows. Yep. Huge. All I put in were just liners. Maybe I would change that closet. light fixture in future. Yes. Yes, I would. Yeah. And, and I believe same thing here, I would change that light fixture. Yes, yep. If possible, yep. put nice LED. I am going to do that actually, yep. Because it's a pretty damn good size. Yep. Have with a big window, nice, lots of sunlight. Has its own closet space there, so. Okay, so now the suspense is, you know, we, we don't want to wait that long to be suspenseful. And has its own bathroom. Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh wow, even the ba bathroom is like fairly new. Yep. Nicely renovated, nice and clean. So, mm -hmm. tell us this. Okay. 
How much did you rent this place for? 1650 plus utilities. 16 plus 1650 plus utilities. Plus its own utilities. So you're not paying for any hydro and gas? No. So 1650, let's keep that aside. And how much did you buy this property for? 400 even. 400,000. I'll, I'll tell you the numbers mm -hmm. if it's okay. It was mm -hmm. listed for 380. Mm -hmm. We quoted 442. Oh, you offered for 440. We offered okay. 440. Yes, they yes. were not ready in the first place. You know, we negotiated. You know, we, there's a person called Harsha. Harsha and Aditya helped me negotiate with them. You know, uh, and I'll tell you what, uh, both of them, none of the owners were here. Yeah. They were in three different places. Three yes. owners, three different places. But then this team made it possible with good negotiations. Okay. Yeah. As a first time home buyer, never skip the inspection process. Yeah. And not just five point inspection. Five point. A in full inspection. Yes. Just for 300 extra bucks, it's yeah. much safer. How much was the full inspection cost? 400. 400, 400 to 500 bucks. Yeah. So and five point inspection is anyways going to cost you 200 bucks. Easy. Yeah. And you have a rental income, so you can write off your expenses anyways. Right. Okay. So we did that. We we got to know that there might be moisture yeah and because of no exterior proofing then we ran about getting quotes from multiple people here uh, yep. again suggested by the same team right <laughs> so we did speak to a few of them we said we we drilled down to one person uh, whom we thought our thought process is matched mm -hmm. because it's more about matching the, because when you're putting in 20 25000 dollars investments you should you're make like sure the that person and the you work with mm -hmm. yes right after we went back we said hey we were very honest you know first yeah. thing uh, the team i could call it our team because i know yes. them right so <laughs> this team or our team we we make it we made sure we are pretty honest upfront and yep. we said we actually sent them this inspection the report yeah normally people don't we send them we send them the quote yeah 20k and here you go from 420 it went it, it went back to 400 so 400 we, even yeah so we got the price and also even the 400 is a great price because not many people know about this property fully because it's a legal unit yes. has down and a lot of people were confused with the terminologies on the listing. Again, that's where having a right team would help you. But that being said, you know, first of all, why did you choose to move back from Guelph to Windsor? And eventually what happened is, uh, before I could make any decisions in my life, again, back to life story, yeah. got, Visa got expired. Yep. And all of a sudden, I had to I had to quit the job, find another job. And then move, you moved to Guelph. I, we had to move to Guelph. Yeah. No other option. One, suddenly, one day, I got a thought of him. I mean, it's enough. It's my property. <laughs> you know, the only person I know or I will call, I knew a lot of people by then because we get... You met... To, no, yeah. when, you, when you're in GTA, every other person might Is be a realtor. realtor. <laughs> That's a great... That's every so other true. person can become a realtor. <laughs> so true, so he's, true. Whether he's doing something or not is a different story. That's a different story, yes. Right? Yes, yes, every yes. other person, right? I I'm yes. pretty much knew a no, lot of people. No, that's reality, yes, yes. I pretty much knew a lot of people. I'm like, no, I'm not going to call any of these. I'm going to only call him. Like, yeah, thank you. <laughs> by the way, Guelph and Windsor are 300 kilometers away. One more point. Team just does not work with people in and around Windsor. Yep. Mm -hmm. It can work with people in and around Ontario, Calgary, mm -hmm. you name it, because the convenience that this team offers would be based on your availability. Yeah, so you can live anywhere, but if you're looking to invest in live Windsor. around Windsor Essex, like, then that's yeah. when that's when we said, okay, yeah. Naray, how what are my options? You know, like that's when he explained me, hey, first home, first time home buyer yeah. benefits, CHMC. I don't want to go into all the 21 <laughs> yards there. So how much down payment did you put? Five percent. Five percent. So again, so apart from that renovation cost for four hundred thousand, the five percent is do your math twenty thousand. So it's twenty thousand is all what you need to buy a house. And we are talking this is current. He just closed this one like a month ago. So you don't need a lot of money. A lot of people have this misconception. And also, if you are moving different places, buy something like this. You move in, you rent the other place. So now, what is your monthly payment? My monthly payment is Mortgage. 2200. 2200, whereas the tenant is paying already 1650. 1650. So that means like you're paying your mortgage like $600? 600 plus my taxes plus and your other taxes, 200, 800. Utilities. Thousand bucks. So thousand bucks. Thousand two hundred. How much were you paying your rent? Almost two thousand there. Almost. I mean, so, I was so I was doing fifteen hundred plus utilities. That means you're saving already thousand dollars on your rent. Two bedroom. So you got three bedroom and you're saving their thousand dollars and also someone paying your mortgage down. That's like you know a lot of people don't realize of the house hack concept. Buying a home where you have two units or three units, renting out the other units yep. saves you thousands of dollars, especially when you're starting your career. Don't go for that dream home. 
I could have gone for my dream home. No harm in buying a dream home. Yeah, but no, when I mean, we buy, when at what point of life do we want to buy a home? Yeah. So the thing is, this, my thought process was mm-hmm. correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. I had money to put in 20 I mean 20%, 20% right yeah. because because I already had 20000 yes. that I because you, put you in, waited right? for like 3 4 years 3 years right yeah. so I could have gone that but then my thought process was put in 5% because you're mm-hmm. anyways going to live there your job yeah. allows you to live work from home you yeah. can work from home yeah right when mm-hmm. your job is allowing you to do that make sure you put value into the property yeah get the value of your property up right mm-hmm. with the money that you can spend on multiple things like exterior waterproof thing you yeah. know maybe good roofing maybe renovate the house with i was as i was trying yeah. to tell you half bath you know make the value go up it pays off long yeah. term and also not only that like you know you can if you are investing that 80000 20% down now you are not left with any savings yeah. rather you can use to improve your property and also you can leverage and go buy another one as an investment property yeah. Yeah. for 20% down nowadays in windsor you can buy, find a property for 300000 that can make you another $2000 yep. so 300000 you need 20% 60000 in townhomes in guel listing price i couldn't find for 700 there you go <laughs> townhomes but now here you got two units for half the price hey, but no, nothing wrong with, i mean no i mean again you know at the end it's a personal choice and the cities are different right but tell me this overall like you know for as a first time home buyers for a lot of you newbies who are watching this who wants to get into this kind of a uh, project what are your suggestions number one first thing is try to find somebody whom you can trust to work with mm-hmm. there and it starts and ends there because for me i knew aditya way before okay but then aditya even though i knew aditya aditya actually made me speak to another person called harsha right yeah who is my agent in my team harsha was a stranger to me at that time right <laughs> at that time but then by the time we got done he's he's more than a friend it's like have whenever we meet with somebody make sure you have that lifelong relationship for yeah. that to happen your thought process and mindset should match yeah because you know first of all you trusted me and 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 i put you through my agent who is like you know can take care of you very yeah. well right. and he's like a great guy like i mentioned earlier in the unit and you know for your suggestion right like go any city that you're looking to buy find someone who is doing what you want to do because that's the key why did you call me instead of many other people yeah because you have saw me doing it right yeah. you saw me in front of your eyes like for year or so like at least yeah. so I was there for 8 months 6 7 months yeah right so there are a lot of people out there like that who is doing you know things what they are saying so go find those people you will get rest everything has a package crush it from there any final words that you want to give no for so basically the how can you find a nice realtor simple thing it's not about just closing the sale it's how you follow through after the sale is done no that's a great advice you know honestly you nailed it uh, thank you thank you for your time and uh, and where people can find you okay how is are you active on instagram i am active on instagram <laughs> narain karnam you can find me in I'm going to I'm going to put his uh, handle because I will be starting my own YouTube yeah, channel he's, as he's well starting his channel too so you know follow for updates on his journey because now he's not only stopping at the first property he's planning for more so make sure to follow and hit the like button subscribe see you peace out